Welcome back to Poly Ridge 3. Can I get the two cars into the center without any center joints on the middle island using half budget? As I've been doing this whole time, it's a tough challenge, but a fun one. So I got $7,500 to work with here. That means I got to make some of the cheapest wall supports known to man. And already I can feel it going up in price. $1,500 over and does it even work? I mean, it's 48% stress to begin with. You know, it actually does work better than I thought, so maybe there's a shaving chance. One thing I can do, of course, is raise up the side joints. But my god, does this look ugly. But it works. Now, I wonder if the stress gets worse when I raise up the wall joint instead. Dude, that one needs depth. Yeah, that's the difference maker. So the wall joint stays down, then I can move up some of the inner joints instead. Ah, uh, but I mean, that's also a problem, but actually, no, I saw a 97% max. The previous was 98%, so somehow that's better? So let me talk about the other possibility to save budget. You can just move the road in, and if you want to, you can move it up a little too, to compensate for the sagging, but this is just a really simple budget shave. Just make the gap. You can do it. Oh, that's way better. That was way less stressed because there's less road hanging out at a distance. And the further it w is away from the wall brace, the more comparatively ill way. So 7,700 and still climbing. Like if I move it in, I could just do a mini jump because it seems like they build up enough speed for that to work. Very close to working. I figure if I tweak it a little bit, it'll just bring it there under half budget. Do I want to keep going now? I'm gonna give myself five minutes to break this record. Already, I'm starting to kind of curve up the roads a bit more. I think the goal is to have them all be slanted upwards. And I think if they slant up far enough, I can just get rid of a joint and save a lot of money on wood. Let's see if this has any merit here. It does. This is a separate contraption that I think should go through its own phase of shaving. Like, I think I can finally move up the wall brace again, just seeing the current stress levels. It does get pretty stressed at the end, but still no problem. And just watch the landing to see if any of them could have more space. It seems like the green one could be definitely shorter. Red could be a little shorter. And with that, I do make the record. I feel like this could still be a lot better. I don't want first place anymore. I want zeroth place. This is the absolute furthest I can take it. Note how like the last road is super long and just has that long single support. Notice how both the cars struggle to get on the pier, but do anyway. The stress isn't high, but that's not the limiting factor. Under 6,000 in a league of my own. Now, how long will this record last? Who's ready for hydraulics? This one comes with half a bridge already. It's free, and I can copy it. Now, is it under half budget? Nope. So, how can I get it to 10,500? Well, for starters, definitely having a contracting hydraulic on top is cheaper. For seconders, I can definitely lower the arches. I can also lower this arch, which does make it cheaper despite the more expensive hydraulic. It still isn't there. I wonder if I can just make the hydraulic touch this joint. That's still not cheap enough, and this might break. It hasn't broken yet, but there's still time. Watch carefully as it comes down. That's a little bit of a different beast. Oh, that connects cleanly, actually. You know what? Hydraulics in this game seem a lot more reliable already. But I still got 1,400 to save. Maybe it's as easy as just, like, lowering the wood towards the middle. Pizza slices usually work out well. Yep, it gets the 91% stress, but it works. It actually does save money if you just expand the wood directly into the hydraulic. Can I get it further by doing other wood? But I have to be careful because the point that the hydraulic attaches to on the bridge, when that changes, it's also a pivot point that changes. Watch how it pivots and then snaps. Everything has consequences. Now I could maybe have it contract less, but that may just have a different problem of it not doing enough. If I can find that perfect balance, I'll be a pretty lucky guy. Ah, I found it. Does it work coming back down? Yeah, gravity doesn't betray me. And it holds up beautifully. I wonder, do I actually need this tiny little wood piece here? As long as it still clicks, it's, yeah, holds up nicely. How do I save $200? Maybe a slightly shorter hydraulic? It would then need to contract more, but I think it's going to blow up. Maybe? It doesn't blow up, and it makes it. Okay, hold on. Please still support. It does. That does, in fact, mean I can shorten the hydraulic a touch more. Is half budget exactly? This would be perfect, but it ain't. Also, there's a perfect spot. 
Oh, talk about barely not breaking and barely grazing the boat. But nope. 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 You had to ruin everything, you dumb car. It kind of collapsed in the middle. I wonder if doing wood rope here is any better. Just under the possibility that it wasn't, like, tight enough. Maybe that'll provide a little better support that we need. Yeah, that's the difference maker. Oh my. I can't believe that design worked. Here I got $20,000. Oh, and the classic limo is back. So I doubt I can just do a bridge that goes over because the limo will bottom out. Though I am curious. Can I in fact beat a hydraulic level without any hydraulics? What's on you, Mr. Limo? Yeah, it does make it over. Now, the bad news is there's no bridge here. So it's as simple as just copying this bridge and bringing it to the other side, right? No, it's shorter here, and I can tell it's much steeper. The limo barely made it across the first one. It's not going to make it across the second one. Now time for a good hydraulic bridge. I wonder, though, can I set this up so just a single road, yes, is all that's hydraulic out? I imagine that a single road hydraulic should be enough to just pull it out. Look at that, nice and open. Now the question is, is it going to get back for the submarine? Or after the submarine goes, will it click back into place? It does. What a cute little baby hydraulic. Who is a good hydraulic? You are. Mm, you are not. How dare you? I think I can just lower this. I have a bit of funds. Now the full journey of the limo can be shown in its glory. Make it. Yeah, let's go. I'm not mentally ready yet to optimize hydraulic, so I figure... I'll just take my half budget and move on. I wonder if this could be a two road hydraulic. I think I'll have the drawbridge pulled to the right because that's where the foundation here is. Oh, is that what this is gonna be? Oh, I can feel the anticipation of being able to place my own static joints. Don't get too ahead of myself. Gotta build a bridge. I do imagine this wooden sport to be quite simple. Now this, again, has to be just pulled straight up. So this is the classic technique I use. Just the lateral hydraulic. It will pull this joint 90 degrees. And I'll keep doing it just in case, like, if you need hydraulic help, you can kind of just look at this and look for patterns, basically. But this is under budget, even though it may look like ass. It does pull it up vertically, letting the pirate ship through. I like that skull on the front of it. It's a good looking pirate ship. And it clicks in beautiful. Whoa, that Jeep came screeching to a halt. I kind of want to at least appear on the top six. And it also is like partly just, I want to clean up this monstrosity. So I imagine that this should be streamlined greatly. It gets reasonably stressed, but not over so. Also, I get to see more of the pirate ship. It's a very cool look. I am here for it. I wonder if it could just do a little better. I'm not addicted to saving budgets, you are. It's you, not me. I'm having a great time though, that's a beautiful ship. I mean, everything about this game is beautiful. Just look at the backgrounds. They're so stylized. Custom levels are gonna be sick because you could have them be featured in like the sides of levels with all the other cool stuff. If I really want to, I could make the hydraulic shorter, but still making sure that this wood rotates 90 degrees. That's the entire point of the hydraulic. Make this wood rotate 90 degrees clockwise. There's a little bit of math to making sure you get it right. I did not do that math, but I'll figure it out with a little trial and error. Well, I guess a little over rotation never hurt anybody. I maybe could actually do the math to try to generalize it for you guys, but involves like uh, right triangles. Actually, I think there's easier math. If you take this, you literally rotate it 90 degrees. It looks like this, where this joint is should be the midpoint of the hydraulic. So if I were to shorten this further, you take this, rotate it 90 degrees, that's the new midpoint of the hydraulic. And this is really, really cheap. I could see it breaking, or I could see it just working like a Chad bridge that it is. Come on, don't fail me now. You suck. <laughs> Oh, it was the left side that failed me though. Right, so I did forget that I, I shaved a lot off there. I could have it support a little bit better to compensate for the shorter hydraulic. Yeah, that's the price I'm willing to pay. All things have costs. And my thirst for first place has a cost, or rather a benefit. You guys get to see me grind it out. Now, part of the issue with this bridge is that the hydraulic has to rotate this middle part 90 degrees. What if it didn't have to rotate that far? What if these roads were expanded to max? And now we see the pivot point is here. So if I take this, rotate it a bit, you see that it would avoid the boat with the pivot of like 75 degrees. But it's never that easy. It's never that easy. This time it was. And here, 
Oh, you can see it working. In principle, except what broke? Of course, the same wood piece. Now, was part of this reason due to the fact that when the hydraulic went down, it didn't click perfectly? Look at the road. There's a tiny little bump in it, and I wouldn't be surprised if the bridge breaks right at the moment we cross that bump. Now, that also may be a coincidence. It's not the cleanest design, but it is cheaper, and it's still voted to the boat, but it still may have similar problems. Yeah, it looks like it does, but it actually works anyway. I at least want to be under 12,000, and then and only then I'll reconsider whether I'm going to shave it further. Okay, nice, it works. But it's only $100. Yeah, but 0.02% stress. What happens if I just, like, lower the roads on the left side? Disaster. Unfortunately, the only way I think I can get this $100 off is through a redesign. This bridge has just reached its absolute limits, but what limits they are. Next level. You can finally use foundations. Can't wait to see what this is all about. So you can control its height and its price is dependent on its height. You can also see the distance from the edges on the bottom. I imagine 15 is right in the middle. And it does come with a static joint. So I gotta get the new Longhorn car across to its beautiful pink purple flag. Now I think that a taller foundation is better, but I don't know for sure. Oh, you know, with 15 meters, it actually might be better to have it be 16 meters and 14 meters so I can have longest roads. That way it can be as few roads as humanly possible. And I can build around that? No, I can't because I have uh, $4,000 left to spend. How on earth am I beating this with $35,000? Perhaps with a cheaper foundation. Maybe a $1,500 one that's right in the middle? Cool, now I have $11,000 to work with. That's going to go really fast, you know. That is expensive. Is it any good? No. I wonder then if I'm just better off with my original idea. I mean, this is already over budget, but I think I'm just willing to see how it goes. Hopefully this one works. It is, in fact, $10,000 over my budget. Still doesn't work. If I bring up the arch, it does look pretty clean now. I imagine this one will finally work. Oh my god. Why? I feel like this game all of a sudden got way harder since I reloaded it. Please, just make it over the bridge. This isn't supposed to be the hard part. All right, so this is the reinsurance I needed. Some people got it for cheap, so it is possible. I gotta say, the foundation thing is really cool, but if I want my bridge to be cheap, I think I have to get rid of it. But I do gotta do a different support. I can't have this much of the bridge be over. What I need to do is like a double under support, so I almost make like a spider web. It reaches out to here. It's just got a beautifully arch. So I could run with that and then have this middle section be an over support. I'll try to arch it, but I think I also am going to need some like additional over support. But I'm not sure what it actually takes to keep all this up. So I might just like go for this sort of weird, disgusting under support. I wonder if it stands any chance. It holds. I mean, it wasn't terrible, but I mean, it needs more coordination. Although if that's breaking, I may need to convert to roads here. Whoa, one road, and that was enough to actually make it halfway. If I just add another road, does this work? I mean, it's pretty low on stress. Wow, oh, okay, we're really close now. Like, it feels like some wood pieces get stuff done. Others just kind of sit there, and I think making these squares may help. 55% stress, that's actually better than before? Wow, this bridge is coming together. Let me look on top, how's that doing? Well, that's doing pretty good. Do I need this second layer here? What if this just holds? Okay, hold on, hold on. Still under budget. Maybe it can be asymmetrical too. I was hopeful. But maybe it's still cheap. $53. Hold on. First, let's make sure it works. All right, pretty important. It does, beautifully. I can save $53. It might actually mean lowering the middle arch. I don't know if I lower it $53 worth though. But, like, I need both top and bottom to be balanced. Oh, I think it might be $53 worth. Like, the actual arch of the bridge has to go directly through the middle of the muscle so that both halves are equally stressed. And this looks clean. I didn't think I'd get there. I love that. First level with foundations, and the best move is to just not use them at all. This level might need foundations. Dude, look at this sick blue tractor. You can see the guts of it. The veins, it's awesome. Flatbed truck, a mini mover. 
What is that strapped to it? A fridge? I got one foundation. I might actually have to use it here. I think I'll do it low, but that might be wrong. So unfortunately, all three of these vehicles have different speeds. So part of me just wanted to like have the flatbed truck carry the other cars. But who says I still can't? Let me show you what I mean. First, I'll build a bridge and I think I will do a steel. Actually, it's probably going to be a few steel. This is going to be a heavy load. It's nice to bring back the steel over wood under because the very next thing I was going to do is I was going to set up a nice little mechanism just right in here that features a platform I could put road on, including road that slows down the mover, doesn't let him go anywhere. And just checking, the truck is faster than the tractor, so I would actually need to have a road that keeps the tractor moving as well. What I want to know though is, is this the most psycho idea known to man? Well, it is pretty bad at support. A oh, wood breaks. Oh, the physics are different. Usually wood do not break here. Out of curiosity, does it work if it's all steel? Like then maybe I wouldn't have any trouble? No, it's not even close. I think it is specifically the problem that the truck is hauling ass. I think I just want to try this with just the truck, just to make sure the bridge holds. The bridge does hold. The problem is that the truck was carrying things. Hold on. I can get rid of a lot of wood here. Sorry, a lot of steel. Replace it with wood. Like, I could do a ton of wood triangles in here. Then the plan was to maybe build a road so these can be positioned kind of close to the truck like that and then maybe i could just do a bunch of wood x supports oh this is so unbelievably expensive please tell me it at least holds oh man that is so much wait did the truck hit it it looks like it might let's raise this up if the truck's hitting the bridge then obviously there's no chance oh but if the truck's not hitting the bridge it ah oh, you're kidding me if i am just able to attach it to the upper right joint then maybe it can hold on longer yeah, that's actually a different maker. Well, this is going to be a hard shave. Next thing is with X's, they actually don't need horizontal attachments all the time. Maybe one attachment right here. It's just the X that needs help. Yeah, all right, that's good. What's sad is that if I took away the foundation, it would just barely be under budget for me. Out of curiosity, what if foundation actually covers more? Like, what if I just connect it here? It's cheaper. Is it good? No. So maybe positioned here. I can have a wood here and then just like a tiny wood support here. This could be almost as good. It made it further. What if this were just steel? Just lead right to the foundation. Oh, a hybrid solution. The foundation was cheaper than the stuff below it, but I still had to save $10,000 somehow. I just don't know. I think this is the first level whose half budget I'm just gonna have to come back to. But it is a cool introduction to foundation. It does feel worthwhile now. And with that, I've completed two campaigns. What's cool is that after completing the first two campaigns, I can then go to any of the two sheep difficulties that each have campaigns around different gimmicks. Who knows what I'm gonna do next time. Thank you for watching, hope you enjoyed. See you in the next video. Have a wonderful day and peace.